Hello everyone. In this session, let us look at the list iterator concept. So far, we have seen to iterate over an array list or link list quickly to retrieve the elements. We can use the modified for loop, the special for loop saying for each element in the collection of elements and then retrieve the values. But say we want to do some more operations when we iterate like add the values or update existing values or remove the existing elements from the list. So to do all these methods, when we iterate over a list, list iterator is very useful. Let us see how we can create the list iterator object here. And let us see how we can iterate over a list in the given order and in the reverse order. So that is also possible when you use a list iterator, you can iterate over a list in the reverse order as well. So let's create a list iterator. So list iterator, which is the interface over here the object name let me give it as itr and then list which is the name of the object that we are using and list dot list iterator so itr will be created as a list iterator object and we need to import the list iterator from java dot util now using this itr object and next has next previous and has previous methods we can iterate over in the given order or in the reverse order. Now next will give us the next value in the list. Now when you create the list iterator by default, the cursor is set before the beginning of the list. So say cursor is automatically set before the beginning. And when you say list has next element, it will say yes, there is next av element available. And then when you ask for the next element, it will give you the next. So for example, if you do something like while itr dot has next and run the loop until the list has next element available list will run from the head to tail of the elements now as i said the in the beginning cursor is before the first element now when we ask whether the list has next element it will return true so loop will continue and then over here we will say itr dot next so next method will give us the next element in the list and also change the cursor to that element. So for example, say cursor is somewhere here. We are saying that does list has next element. It will return true. Go inside the loop, then itr.next. So it will give us the next element, which is 1.1. And also the cursor is shifted to the first element now. Next time when we ask list has next element, it will say true. Yes, there is next element available. It will give us the next element and cursor is shifted to the next element. So next method does not just give us the next element of the list, but also shifts the cursor to that. So in this way, when we get the last element, which is 1.5 has next becomes false because there is no next element available. And then we come out of the loop. So when we run this program, we get all the elements of the list. Now, when we create the list iterator over here, we can provide the index. Let us say I don't want to iterate from the very first element in the list. I want to iterate from the second element. So what is the index of the second element is zero and one. So when you specify the first index, the iteration will start from that particular index. So when you run this code now, you will see the values from 1.2 to 1.5. So these are the values. So if you do not specify by default from the head of the list, it will start iterating. And if you specify the index, then from that particular index, the iterations start. Now how to iterate in the reverse order. So to iterate in the reverse order, we have to set the index to somewhere here, right? After the tail of the list, after the end of the list. So that we can do simply by using list dot size. And then until list has previous element, not next. So when you do something like has previous, because over here, if you ask whether the list has previous element, it will say yes, and give me the previous element. So you will change it to has previous. So itr dot previous, and then you get the previous element, and then cursor is shifted to this one. At this point, you will ask list has previous element, yes, then get the previous element cursor shifts here and it will go on till the first element and then itr dot has previous becomes false at that point and then loop is break 
So when you run this program, you'll see the list getting iterated in the reverse order as simple as that. So next gives us the next element and shifts the cursor to that. Previous gives us the previous element of the list and shifts the cursor to that and has next and has previous simply returns true or false depend upon the next or previous element is present in the list or not depending upon the cursor position. Okay. Now to understand these next methods, let us do some programs. In this example, let us create a program to remove all the null values from the list. A list can contain null values. So in this case, we have an array list which contains integers and some values are null inside the list. So we want to create a program to find those null values and eliminate those, remove those from the list. So let's create a list iterator. Say itr is equal to list dot list iterator and we need to import it. Now let's create a loop. So while itr has next value. Now over here we'll use if condition. We'll say that if itr dot next value is equal to null, then we want to get rid of that. You know, itr dot next will give us the next value, and when that next value is null, we just want to remove it. So itr dot remove. As simple as that. We are iterating over the list. We are getting the values. We are checking whether the value is null. If it is null, we will remove it. And at this point, after all the iterations of the loop are done, when we display the list, then we'll see all the null values are removed from the list. So all these null values are removed. As simple as that. So that's how remove works. During the iteration, when you want to remove any value, just say itr, that's the list object, uh, iterator object, and remove. Let's just modify this program. Let us say we want to change all those null values with zero. Let us say we want to change all these null values with zero. So same program, you can simply modify it something like this. You will say itr dot set, set will update the existing value to zero. So all these null values will be changed to zero. So when we run this program, you will see zeros over here. So whenever there was a null value that has got updated to zero. Now let's go to the next program. Over here, we have a linked list which contains integer values. And then we want to create a program to change all the odd numbers to the even numbers. So now this list contains some of the odd numbers and some of the even numbers. So we want to change all the odd numbers to even numbers. So let's quickly create a list iterator. Let's apply the loop while itr dot has next. Now let's take an integer over here, say int i is equal to itr dot next. And we just need to cast it to integer. And over here we can use if condition, say if i modulus 2 is equal to 1. So when you divide a number by 2 and get the remainder as 1, then it's a odd number. So all we need to do is just say i++ plus plus, so the number gets converted to even. So let us say 11. If we add it to 1, then it will become 12. So that becomes an even number. And then we can reset it to the list. So we'll say itr dot set to the list itself. So it will get updated to the odd number. So that's how the even number will get updated to the odd number. So after all the iterations are done, when you see the values from the list, it will be all even list. So all the numbers will be converted to even. So this 11 got converted to 12, 23 got converted to 24, and 111 got converted to 112, and this 120. Okay, so this is about the list iterator in Java. Thank you for watching this video.